By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And as you can see, I've got a package here. It is FedEx. It came all the way from the United States. It is sent to me by James. James, when you're watching this, man, it's just incredibly crazy what you've done. Uh, James is a, a fan of the channel. Well, I kind of try to open this, this one up. Um, and he contacted me uh, through Instagram. And he said, you know, I love your show and I would like to send you some cards. And I'm like... Of course, man. I mean, really, really appreciate it. So he asks me, what kind of beta cards are you looking for? Like, no kidding. What kind of beta cards? And um, actually, I am working on a beta blue flyers deck at the moment. So I said, you know, do you know what these cards are worth? Are you sure you want to send it? Like, we did the whole thing. And then I asked him to send a couple of cards. And he said, yeah, man, I'm definitely going to send them to you. So, James, I'm <laughs> really... Um, curious and excited about this package and um, yeah I'm just gonna rip it open now and we'll just kind of see I, I believe I'm hoping there's a Phantasmal Forces in here that's I think that's just one of the coolest cards ever so I'm hoping that that card's in here uh, but first I have to kind of rip it open there we go want to make sure I don't show the other side of the package because there are all the address details of James on there so let's just kind of get it open and there we go oh, so we've got nice bubble wrap and that's all okay cool wow so in here we're going to see the cards this is just just still kind of crazy Okay, here we go. Bubble wrap, I'm actually gonna keep because I use bubble wrap a lot when I'm sending out my stuff. Uh, okay, so here we've got the, look at how many cards. Jeez Louise, that is crazy. Just gonna look at the letter before I show it on the camera. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good thing because there is an address on the bottom. So there's a little card here, Thomas. Please find included the cards that we discussed. Enjoy. I look forward to playing a few games someday. Well, I mean, man, so do I. I just want to, if, if these are the cards that we talked about, I can kind of finish my, almost finish my beta blue deck. So that would be really sweet. Um, okay, so let's just open it up. As you can see, they're perfectly packed. We've got one, two, Three, oh, look at that. Four, and some islands. Wow, this is stunning. Let's just get these islands out first. I can feel they're multiple. So, wow. Look at this. Beautiful beta island. I mean, this just shows like how Fantastic, the old school community is. I know I keep saying it in these videos, but every time something like this happens, you know, and I'm just blown away by, you know, the kindness of everybody and just so many people enjoying Timmy Talks. It's really great. And uh, this beautiful beta island. Just those purples. And I have to say, it does look really, really good with that black border. Amazing. So there's a beta island. I'm gonna put it here. And let's have a look at the other card. And here we see another one. This is, of course, this is kind of the one that I play in my deck as well. I think this is, for me, kind of the standard blue island. Um, it's just very, very typical. And, of course, it is just the art. There's just a lot of blue in there. So it, it really fits blue. But, yeah, this one is also absolutely stunning. So two beautiful beta islands. Going to put them next to each other right here. And uh, wow, which one shall we go for first? We've got four cards. I believe that these are all beta blue cards. It's just absolutely crazy, James. Um, I, you know what? I'm going to start with this one. And let's have a look. Here we go. 
Boom, a power sink. Sweet, the mustard man. Very cool. So power sink one and X for an interrupt and target spells countered unless the caster spends X more mana. Um, caster of target spell can choose to let it be countered. If caster of target spell doesn't have enough mana, all available mana from lands and mana pool must be paid, but target spell will still be countered. And the fact that your opponent has to tap their lands makes this card so incredibly brutal. Wow. Again, the colors just really pop when you've got that black border. It's amazing. So here we go. We've got a power sink. Three cards to go still. Uh, I'm going to go for this one. And they're in really, really good condition. Like, I mean, close to... This is excellent, I think, this card. I mean, look, look at that back. Trying to zoom in properly here. It's really beautiful back. I'm, I'm kind of blown away, James. I'm going to turn it around. And of course, hey, Timmy, of course. And what a beautiful Tim. The beta Tim. Let me tell you a cool story about my alpha Timmies and my beta Timmies. I all got them. There is not a single alpha Tim or beta Tim that I bought. I actually, I have to kind of correct myself. I did buy an alpha Tim um, but I've traded it away because I only wanted to have alpha and beta Timmy's that I actually got. So I just feel really, really fortunate that people actually sent me, um, these cards. It's just absolutely fantastic. Look at it. It's, it's absolute pristine condition. Wow. This is mint, man. This must be mint. This is just crazy. Okay. Two cards left. And I'm going to start with this one. Again, an incredible, incredible condition. Yes, Phantasmal Forces. Look at this card. I always call them the punk rockers of magic. You know, the glam rockers. I should say not the punk rockers, but the glam rockers. Look at them. They are badass. Phantasmal Forces. One blue and three to cast for a 4-1 flyer. And there is a little downside, which is actually not that little. You've got to spend one blue during your upkeep or else it gets buried. Which, of course, is not ideal when you play with blue. Uh, because you want to keep mana open to counter. But still, it's a really neat card. And I'm going to play it in my beta blue flyers deck. Wow. In incredible. Incredible. I'm going to put it here. And the last card, I don't know which one this is. The last one. Okay, here we go. Bam! And it is a Timmy, look at that. Unlimited Tim. Very cool. That is a great finisher of this little mail day here. And uh, again, Jam James, I, I can't thank you enough for sending this over. This is so incredibly uh, generous. I'm gonna play all of these these three and the two islands in my beta blue deck. And uh, thank you so much. And also thank you for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And if you want to help the channel out, uh, you can actually do it quite easily. Of course, you can always send me beta cards. I love that. Uh, but what you can also do is leave a like. It really helps. Leave a comment. You can also subscribe on Timmy Talks if you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed yet. All of that really helps the channel moving forward. So thank you for doing that. And you can also become a patron of Timmy Talks. You can become a patron of the show. And by becoming a patron, you're sponsoring me financially and you're helping me to keep the channel afloat. And how can you do that? There's probably a link popping up right now. Click on that link and that will take you to the Timmy Talks Patreon page. And there you can find all the info that you need to know. So. If you're interested, click on it, have a look, see if it's something for you. And maybe uh, I'll see you on the Timmy Talks Discord server. And if you become a patron, your name will also be mentioned in the end scroll. Talking about the end scroll, let's go and have a look at the amazing, the wunderbar, the fantastic patrons and channel members of Timmy Talks. Let's have a look. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?
Ik het als fikker te samba gezien.